we have council this year. We also have our mayor pro tem, Laura Connor. Um, I also like to hear, uh, add some good news. We had the uh, unanimous consensus today to be the fiscal agent for this fifteen thousand dollars. Thank you very much. We'd also like uh, Mr. Moore to add something to our after school program. Very well. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. In addition to the commitment to be a fiscal agent, as Governor Richardson was able to talk about, because of the city's concern to expand the school program services, we will be working with the Boys and Girls Club to incorporate that opportunity as well. So not only does that provide additional services and outreach for the community, but it also helps achieve accountability, as Governor Richardson talked about. With that in mind, a lot of your programs are about to come together as a result of commitment being made out of state of Mexico Governor Richardson. So with that in mind, congratulations. <laughs> Commissioner Pettis, please give her nice. Well, I think this point is another three years ago. The kid said he is. There you go. <laughs> the kids never, never like it. I have a six year old and a nine year old, and actually I'm speaking more as a mother than I am as a chairman of the county, county commission. I'm very grateful for this bridge grant from the state that keeps this facility open. I'm nothing but impressed from the time I walked to the door. The computer facilities, the kids themselves, who have had a lot of fun, fun playing basketball with the uh, city manager. <laughs> but also to the city for facilitating this funding and making sure that it goes where it's supposed to do and getting it moving that fast. But as our and as a county commissioner chair, I appreciate it. And then uh, our boys club uh, regional director. What did I say? Boy what did I say? Boy club. Boy club. Boy club. Boy club. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank the governor for, for listening to Las Cruces, for, La, for the Boys and Girls Club of Las Cruces. But most of all, and importantly, is he's always listening to what Las Cruces is need are, and he rushes down, not feeding, but just taking <laughs> time. But he has been a asset to our, our community. And for you kids, I can't be more happy for you because this is a fun place to be. I've been here when you guys are playing pool and doing homework and all these other things that you do here, play basketball. I want you to have a safe and wonderful place to come to after school and in the summers. And congratulations because it's all about what you guys want. And thank you for being here. Thank you very much for staying in with us. Because you know the Boys and Girls Club goes back to when Representative Watoyo, you were here, and when Edgar Lopez, who uh, Chris Lopez is uh, now back in life, used to come here as a young man, as a young boy, to, to participate in Boys and Girls Club. So this has a long history and a long tradition, and so I'm really uh, pleased that the governor has been willing to step forward and to come up with money to originally to be able to allow the new leadership. Uh, Clint, I think, is going to be demonstrating the kind of leadership that this Boys and Girls Club needs to be able to continue to the future. Uh, so I'm real pleased about that, and I think the Boys and Girls, uh, the Boys and Girls Club are going to be doing great. Right. Yeah, well, the Rest of America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of I'm trying to make this thing happen. And we are very much indebted to your charisma, your style, your dedication in order to make this work. Because the Wizard Rest of that and the Wizard Rest of America We'll put together a critical mass team in Washington County to help you facilitate and try to pull the board together because this is a community organization and we want to get in Washington to be the full brother, not the girls from America. We want to be the team. And that's what we are going to provide the board. Thank you. The First Lady of New Mexico has a bill that she is pushing, that Senator Altamirano is pushing for $2 million for all the boys and girls clubs in New Mexico. And so we want that to pass. This has immediate attention. And uh, the two board members that are here, Chris, and look at that great beard. Can I borrow your beard? <laughs> you know, I'm running for another office. Do you think that would help? <laughs> Why don't you guys come up here? You're two board members. Board members All the board members, come up. Don't make it too long. But please, please say a few words. Well, I just like to echo the same with Clint. Um, we had a newspaper article last week that we read. We talked about we had some financial trouble, and the outpouring of support for this community has just been for well. Like I said, we've had people walk in on the street and give money. We've had people walk in to give ideas and places to help. Both of those are very much appreciated. There's a, a slogan in the New York Times, a couple of boys and girls from American training sessions. The slogan is sacrificial giving as sort of the measure that they challenge board directors to give sacrificially to their own club. And I can guarantee you 
that the people that come to the first last few days are fulfilling that obligation of sacrifice, get small mass, large mass, heartfelt contributions of need. We are humbled that the outpouring of support from the community. Thank you very much. I've been a board member for about a year now, but it's one of the most enjoyed jobs I've ever had. I don't even look at it as a job, it's an opportunity, it's a pleasure, because these kids is what it's all about. You know, just having the opportunity to work with them and for them and to try to provide something to follow them, such as the voice of Girls Up and the opportunity that Girls Up provides, it's an honor for me to do that. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank everybody for all this forward that they've shown to the voice of Girls Up. Thank you. I'll have most of the council and, the, and you and uh, Ooh, you're Chris. Yeah. Get over here. 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 Get over here.